Hello guys, this is Mr. Bull897, and I'm here with a redstone tutorial on the self-repairing wall. I haven't really seen any tutorials on these, so I thought I would make one. Now first I'm going to demonstrate it. You see, you have just a normal stone wall. You break one, and it repairs itself. This works pretty good, except for you can get a bit too fast for it, but for the most part, it heals itself pretty well. Alright, now moving on to the tutorial. First off, I'm going to start with the smooth stone generator. Unlike most of these repairing walls that I've seen, I've figured out how to make it with a smooth stone generator. Well, most just use normal cobblestone. However, there is a few issues with the smooth stone generator when you're trying to make it into this little wall here. So first off, you're going to start with a little L shape like so. In this first one here, you can break that and just replace it with a piston. Alright, then make a little frame out of this stone here. Let's build it all the way up around the L. Now you don't have to do these corners there, just because mm, that's going to just help hide the lava, I guess, a bit better. Make it look a bit cleaner. Now this front one you do have to use, otherwise it'll cause the lava to be able to spill over to the side, which is never fun. Alright, and now to add the water, what you want to do is build out one farther than the wall and build that over, just like so. Alright, now you're going to take your lava and you're going to place it right in there, and the water right in there, and wait for the lava to come over. And there you go, you got yourself a smooth stone generator. It works really, relatively well, just like that. Now, if those blocks aren't there, it's going to cause the water to spill out. But we'll always have blocks there just because it's connected to that piston, and it'll keep pushing it out, which is going to help us build our wall later. All right. Now, what you want to do is hook up this piston here to a clock. So I'm going to come down over here. I'm going to dig under until I find my piston. There it is. So I'm going to grab my repeater here, and I'm going to place it right there. I mean, wrong block. What you want to do is bring it back one and replace the repeater under that block. And that way you're powering the block that's directly beneath the piston. Alright? Now after we get that done, what you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just dig out here. I like to put this thing underground as best I can. Alright, now what you want to do is use six repeaters, just like so. Place all of them on full delay. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, then you're going to hook it up, just like any other clock, and then just place a redstone torch there, and there you go. You got your clock all hooked, set up now. So just take your redstone and lead it to that repeater. Then you're going to need a block behind the repeater, and you can just lead it down like so, and that way it'll be able to cover it up pretty good. Now to make sure it's working, just come on over here, and as you can see, it'll just push it out for 13 blocks. Alright, now all you have to do to cover this up, especially if you lead it in just like that, is just cover up that hole, just make sure you do not cut off that power right there. I'm just going to leave it as it is so I can show it a bit better later. Alright, now what we're going to need to do is place our pistons for the first side, so I'm just going to break one of those and just work my way down like so. Alright guys, our next step is going to be to hook up these pistons here to a clock as well. So you're just going to place them like so, all the way down, and then grab your redstone dust and lead it all the way back. Alright, and how I like to do these is with six repeaters, just like so, which really you don't even need that much if you know how to count your delays because we're just going to leave them on a single delay and then I'm going to lead this into that first one there and place another repeater right here to make sure it reaches the end because it likes to be picky sometimes and then put a charge in it there you go now you have the basic wall being built now so what you want to do is wait until that extends fully out and see how far it is which, if you know how pistons work, you can figure it out pretty easily. But I'm just going to go ahead and let that extend so we can start working on our next spot. All 
All right. Now you'll see that it stopped with that piston. That's because the piston reached its maximum push limit, and therefore right here is where you're going to need your last pistons. So just place one under like so. All right. So now that we have those pistons there, I'm going to show you how to hook those up real quick in an easy to hide way. Let's just clean all this out right under here real quick. And ideally, you'll want to build this part of it all underground. And then that way, that should be able to be covered up a lot easier. Because all you'd have to do is really dig out the space about that big and just place it underground. It wouldn't be terribly hard, I don't think. I'll probably build it in one of my creative mode worlds and show it off there. Alright, now what you want to do is grab those repeaters and just run redstone dust all the way down. Just like that. Alright, I'm going to clearing out a little bit of space here, but I'm just going to do this uh, like so, just with six repeaters like I did on the other one there. Then go ahead and hook these up. Now what you want to do is just give that its power, just like so. And you'll see it goes all the way around that in a little circuit. And just place that there, and that uh, will be good power now. And it should work pretty fine. And as you can, as you watch it, it'll start to build itself. There are a few issues, uh, such as this little glitch here that I just now noticed, that farther away I keep getting, and it, it just gets kind of laggy. But I'm guessing it's my video recorder, because this other one is working pretty fine. But So yeah, that's pretty much it for this tutorial here. I'm going to go back here and show you the other one. I believe it's because there's so many pistons going all at once, unlike on this one here. That no pistons are going when it's full, so run on over here, and I just break one, and as you can see, it starts to repair itself. Or I can break some of these here, and you can watch it repair. All right. So as you can see, it's going to start repairing itself, and it's getting a bit laggy again. But it's just a video recorder because it, it likes to slow down games just a little bit. So, alright, that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, please leave comments and uh, suggestions for future videos. And if this confused you at all, uh, just send me a message or leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you and show you how to do it a bit better. I think this was fairly simple to build, but you now everyone has different levels of redstone understanding. So, yeah. Thank you. This is Mr. Bull 98. 897, so I'll see you.